Well, I tell you what, there's been a lot of debate this season about exactly who should replace Per Mertesacker as Arsenal captain. And today, the solution stepped forward. David Ospina, captain, fantastic. A natural in the armband, a hero, uh, a leader among men. Um, what about the way he dove to save that stoppage time penalty? An Arsenal goalkeeper saving a penalty of all things. He's broken the hucks, he's broken the curse. Maybe Espina is the new manager. I don't know. Maybe he's not just the captain. Maybe Espina is the icon of the club. Maybe we redesign the club band to just be a picture of David Espina's face. Uh, joking aside, the job is done. 3-0 to Arsenal. And look, it wasn't particularly interesting to watch. It wasn't a great contest. But it essentially means the tie is done and dusted. And next Thursday night we can play... Pretty much whoever we want in anticipation of having the, the uh, Carabao Cup final on the Sunday. Um, there was a big gulf in quality between the two teams. And perhaps with the size of the gulf, we might have expected a greater margin of victory. But 3-0 is enough. So I suppose we've got to be content with that. The first half hour or so, Arsenal were completely dominant. And to be honest, I think Ostersund looked a little bit uh, intimidated. You know, but they didn't seem to realise how frail Arsenal can be. And once they realised that they, we could be got out of the back, they actually had their best spell of the game towards the end of the first half. Credit to Arsenal, they did at least manage to take advantage uh, of their dominance with a couple of goals in that early period. Bit of fortune in the way. One, the keeper spilled and Nacho Monreal was there to tuck it away. I mean, one wonders what the scoreline might have been had we gone with Nacho Monreal as our lone striker instead of Danny Welbeck. He's clearly got greater predatory instincts than the England international. And then the second goal, a Mkhitaryan cross, which was heading towards Welbeck, looking like it might be a classic scuffed finish or need finish into the net. Instead, a defender got there first and nudged it in for the own goal. Uh, so that was 2-0. Osterson then came back into the game a bit, but it was effectively the tie was killed by Meza Ozil. Mkhitaryan again providing the assist as a lovely touch, keeper again might have done better, couldn't keep it out, and it trickled into the back of the net. Um, Mkhitaryan picking up another two assists, I suppose that's one of the big positives, he was very poor at Spurs, better tonight. One of my observations about him is that he's a bit less steady on the ball than I envisaged, I think I thought of him as a, a continuity guy, someone who would get it, give it, keep it, you know, maybe kind of the job Alex Awobi does for us. I think he's a bit more erratic than that. He tries more and thus less comes off. Uh, but when it does come off, it can be quite effective. He's delivered five assists in three games, which is uh, not a bad start to his Arsenal career. And I'm sure a first goal uh, won't be too far behind. And actually his final ball on bo in both instances was, was very good. Even the own goal, it was a good cross that would have resulted in a goal almost whoever had got a touch on it. Uh, what else to say? Danny Welbeck did not really seize the opportunity to start as the centre forward. I thought he had a poor game, really. Um, he looks rusty. He looks very rusty and he looks lacking in confidence. You can see that from the way when he receives the ball, his, his first thought is often not towards goal. He's sort of drifting wide, somewhat aimlessly. There's not that instinct to drive in on goal that you see from a top striker. Um, bit of a worry for Welbeck, who may not get a chance. Next Thursday, Eddie Nketiah came on for him, and I wonder if he might start that game. Speaking of youngsters getting opportunity, Ainsley Maitland-Niles played 90 minutes in central midfield. Yes, you heard me. Not left-back, not right-back, not wing-back, but central midfield. I thought he had a decent game. I thought I think sometimes his ability on the ball this season has been a little overstated. Personally, I don't see him as this excellent technician. I think he's passing... He's all right, but his pass selection needs improvement. I think he loses the ball sometimes. But what you would definitely say about him is he's got the athleticism to win it back. And it was heartening to see an Arsenal midfielder chasing back and winning the ball while going towards his own goal. You don't see much of that normally in the Arsenal team. Uh, Callum Chambers also got a run out tonight. I'm not sure about Mustafi on the left of the centre-backs. I know he's been doing it recently, but I just feel like he can't open his body as well. From the right-hand side, he passes through the lines very well. From the left, it's a little bit more awkward for him. I'm intrigued by that decision from Arsene Wenger. Um, what else to say? Monreal's a prolific goal scorer. That's kind of it, really. I mean, I think they thought we were better than we are, um, but fortunately that worked to our benefit. So, 
that should be the tie done. There are far better teams left in this competition and far greater tests lie ahead. But a win away from home, very welcome right now. Cheers.